Hello and welcome. You're watching FII. I am Sonal Mehrotra Kapoor. Today on the program, we talk about energy drinks. What excess use and consumption of energy drinks can do to you? What exactly is inside your energy drinks? Is it harmful? What will it do to your body and your mind? And are youngsters more at risk? Why do sportsmen endorse it? Why do we have big celebrities endorsing it as well? Is it actually just caffeine? Is it more sugar content? What exactly is that? Let's decode in our explainer. First up, let's tell you what exactly makes your energy drinks energy drinks really. Now, these energy drinks really, they drive uh, they derive energy out of glucose. Added ingredients which basically end up as the name rightly says boosting your energy levels right so it has ingredients like caffeine it has taurine ginseng i hope i'm calling and pronouncing them correctly over there and then it has lots and lots and lots of sugar you may actually exceed the maximum amount of added sugar which is recommended for an adult in an entire day sometimes in just one single drink that's the amount of sugar there is and that's why you get that kick that instant boost that you feel so then we looked at research and found out okay what exactly happens and what can actually happen if you consume your energy drinks in large amounts and then the results that we got are really shocking it may cause serious heart and blood vessel problems it may harm kids still developing cardiovascular and nervous systems it can lead to problems like anxiety sleep problems digestive problems dehydration as well rana which is a commonly added energy drink as well a component that is added there the drinks contain caffeine as well like we've already talked about and then what's worse is this lethal mix and a cocktail of alcohol along with caffeinated drinks so a lot of these drinks very popular known uh, sort of cocktails available everywhere you go not recommended because what happens when you mix your alcohol with these energy drinks is that you feel less intoxicated but your motor coordination and reaction time may be just as impaired so it's a dangerous dangerous thing that we looked at next on the neurological and psychological impact of having excess energy drink construct, uh, consumption as well self destructive behavior is being seen in people who consume it without any hold insomnia seen as well in people who consume it without any control aggressive behavior has been noticed in kids stress has been seen anxiety depressive symptoms as well in kids and also in adults we looked effectively at the cardiovascular impact of energy drinks on your body it increases your blood pressure it increases your heart rate as well that's why in extreme cases even strokes are talked about in people who consume too many energy drinks also it can have impact not just on your heart but on your dental system on your renal system even on your metabolism it can lead to you being overweight obesity as well risk of type 2 diabetes this said to be one of the reasons for it. dental decay renal micro uh, vascular damage as well that is the blood flow in and flow out the kidneys get affected it may cause kidney damage and failure as well accelerated a uh, progression of chronic kidney disease is also can be reached out can happen because of more consumption of energy drinks and then you know this point next point is going to be very interesting because why does one consume an energy drink why do you reach out for one you know as the name suggests it gives you an instant boost of energy but it is this exact kick that it will take away from your life if you keep consuming it in the long run you will feel more tired more fatigued more headaches more stomach aches more irritation if you in some way or the other become dependent as they say on energy drinks every time you want to feel happy or get an instant boost as well we also looked at impact it has on kids in particular and what it does to kids when they consume too much of energy drinks 
caffeine overdose it stimulates chemicals as well it may harm kids still developing especially in their cardiovascular nervous system like i talked about earlier as well in children the adverse symptoms are often even more extreme than in adults because their organs are still developing there are cases which have been noticed of seizure of stroke in kids death is very rare but it has been noted and there is when it comes to amounts that you can consume when it comes to kids there is no safe amount of energy drinks that kids can actually consume and all of this is being talked about in research papers in by scientists by governments now and how they are looking at energy drinks so having understood that let's break it open to our panel joining us on the program today is dr arun gupta he is senior pediatric at fortis hospital shalimar bagh thank you so much for your time doc also with us is manisha chopra nutritionist we'll try and talk to her about what are the alternatives really on how to go about with this we've got sandeep mishra with us dr sandeep mishra senior professor cardiology at aims and we also have uh, dr sandeep vora he is a de addiction specialist and a neuro psychiatrist as well at the indraprastha apollo hospital uh, dr gupta let me begin with you so having understood that excess amount of course is harmful is there an amount that is safe for adults uh, actually uh, uh, when you go through the literature and go through the regulations which have been proposed in india Uh, what they say ki up to 145 mg of caffeine up to one, uh, in one liter uh, if it is beyond that it's not safe it has to be like uh, very specifically Could mentioned Could you repeat that bottle. amount sir please uh, the amount below 145 mg per liter is supposed to be safe but if it is okay. more than 145 mg per liter hmm. then specifically manufacturer has to mention on the bottle that is a, is a, is a caffeinated beverage Hmm. and one and uh, 300 mg uh, per liter more than that is not allowed hmm. but a strange thing i was just looking through at a bottle i cannot display it because the brand name is exactly. there exactly now hmm. it, it has it has shown the content now content shows the 75 mg per 250 ml hmm. so that is 300 mg per liter within specific limits Hmm. uh but the main thing is that everything is written in blue but the red color they have mentioned uh, on the top of the bottle it says caffeinated beverages then the brand name then is written strangely it is appreciated worldwide by top athletes hmm. uh, busy professionals hmm. uh, university students hmm. and travelers on long journey now hmm. the having law is one thing and circumventing that law by, by the other means is something different india has hmm. so many laws but where is the will and the power to implement those laws so now every hmm. bottle this this bottles is 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 openly advocating for university students which is very very dangerous but that's not the and only propagation uh, doc and i'll come back to you on this but i want to talk about the science first we'll come back to regulations in the second part of the program as well let me go to dr mishra uh, from uh, aims over there then dr mishra uh, same question to you firstly how much do you think is permissible and i'm talking about cans here because nobody can calculate really on how many grams of caffeine you've had in an entire day to be very practical about it you consume one can or you consume two cans some people are addicted every time they have to be uh, somewhere and they feel they have a important meeting coming up they quickly down a can thinking that i'm going to feel good uh, about it and i'll be more alert the same thing happens with coffee but that's a separate episode i believe but what is your opinion happens to your mind and your body when you consume excess amount of energy drinks or you become in some way or the other dependent on them So coming to children first, uh, let us say less than 17 or 18 years of age, uh, no energy drink is permissible. So American Association of Pediatrics clearly uh, says that uh, not one single energy drink is permissible in that age group. Hmm. Above that, uh, you know, you can have three cups of coffee per day, which is safe. Which, which is for adults. Three, three cups for adults. For adults, yeah. Okay. Uh, for children. Uh, uh, as I said, less than hundred milligram, which means hmm. less than one cup of coffee. Hmm. So basically, no energy drink is permissible. Not a drop children. for the kids. For elders, yeah. <laughs> you're saying three elders, cups of coffee that translates into three cans generally. Hmm. But although there are some cans, you know, I, and I have to say that the content of caffeine varies between different That's brands. That's right. And uh, so it's you know, difficult. You're saying some... to put a number on how many you uh, can have under a safe limit because every energy drink will have a different composition yeah, of yeah. how much caffeine they've put yeah. or how much sugar they've put. Yeah. So hmm. basically, you know, I would say generally less than three cans or three cans per day. Uh, but 
taking a single can on a long term basis every day has also shown problems so all i have want to say is that hmm. uh, do not take more than two cans at one time hmm. and try not to take uh, daily uh, these energy drinks okay let so, me go to dr vora next dr vora then what is the mental impact i was so fascinated when this research popped up on us because it talks about how it leads to anxiety it talks about how you get dependent on it as well and it can lead to see, several mental issues exactly what people want to fight that's why they consume it see let's see how uh, students start it they they get a feeling that they they feel that they can focus well and that is how they start uh, taking it either because they want to focus in, uh, on their studies or it's because of peer group pressure they say that okay one person has taken energy drink and the other person starts taking so yeah. initially you will have uh, in the initial phase you you will have better focus and it might uh, uh, decrease your anxiety say for in first one cup or one uh, can hmm. but gradually what happens that people make it a habit hmm. and then it changes your lifestyle that you don't want to sleep and you want to study so let me take one energy drink two energy drink three energy energy drink which hmm. becomes a vicious cycle and it becomes as addicting as any other intoxicant and what happens that it it leads to uh, then when you take it more your sleep cycle gets disrupted and then it results in anxiety depression irritability you can have intoxic uh, intoxication uh, effects or you can have withdrawal effects hmm. so it complicates your whole life and you get hooked on to it and we do get people who are addicted to energy drinks and a uh, few months back i uh, before pandemic i got a, a patient who was taking 35 energy drinks per day in very solvent condition he was brought hmm. and uh, ultimately i saw it had been a pattern uh, in him for, since his college days and he was totally depressed and was in a very bad mental state so hmm. it's very important uh, for youth youth uh, youngsters to understand that you cannot go overboard once in a while you can take it but it is as addicting right. as any other i get what uh, you're saying then dr vora but we see a lot of not to sort of call out anybody here but we see a lot of uh, sportsmen consume energy drinks right in the middle of their match or every time there's tea time so are you saying if this is really so bad the question i'm going to be asking people are going to youngsters especially going to say is that well if so and so cricketer so and so badminton yes. player so and so tennis player can drink it then what's the harm they they balance it with their nutrition regular exercise and good sleep Hmm. so that the, uh, the youngsters don't see that so hmm. if, if for a short span it can be used uh, but uh, but you have to focus it with your uh, exercise daily hmm. exercise nutrition in a very minute manner and right. the uh, uh, the uh, equilibrium which a sportsman has or an athlete has is very different than a normal person or a student who has who leads a sedentary lifestyle so right. that is the reason it will affect very differently to an individual who is living, leading a sedentary lifestyle and somebody who is very active or very energetic i uh, talking about nutrition let me bring in uh, manisha chopra over there manisha then I, i know often it said you know water is the best energy drink right we've heard this from our parents mother especially always saying don't depend on anything else just have a glass of water mostly it's your body telling you you are thirsty and that's what you ignore and you get irritable next i understand that but tell us are there supple- sort of alternates then if you are getting a little anxious firstly treat that but if you're feeling a little down and out and you need a instant boost is there a safe way to do this as well yeah see there are many safe ways if we go as a nutritional point of view there are many safe ways you go so in food also there are many safe ways like we have peanut butter we have bananas we have uh, you know lemon water with honey we can add cinnamon into it so cinnamon again plays a role in which the metabolic rate goes high so in the end we are what we are doing we are just taking our metabolic rate high so if you're having half teaspoon of cinnamon with the banana your pre workout work is done so we just have to control what we are eating before our workout so if we are taking it just for a workout or if we are taking it just before we are studying so Mm. have an apple oh. have with a peanut butter half teaspoon or a banana with a oh. half teaspoon of peanut butter or a cinnamon added to it it is going to work out the same way or you can have ginseng tea or you can have a ginger oh. tea it's just the amount of the energy rush you need the energy rush does not need to have come with a red bull 
it can come out with cinnamon as well it's mm. just the same thing mm. the ginseng the uh, ginger the as you said uh, gurana so these are all uh, plants you know so you can take it from there and you can have it and consume your uh, energy drinks from all there all right a banana in a uh, with a some cinnamon on top of it with some tea is a great booster that's some good uh, tip to keep thanks for that manisha let's slip into a break when we come back we'll talk about the, uh, the other aspect really of the story which is about regulation and how much uh, and is this time now really that the government actually wakes up and updates its regulation even when it comes to energy drinks that's coming up on the other side Welcome back. We're uh, talking about energy drinks uh, on this episode of FII. Let me go back to Arun Gupta. Arun Gupta, go, you know, Dr. Gupta, just to the point that you made that a lot of these disclosures are not made. If made, then they come along with claims. They might, might not be true. You are suggesting there is a policy updation required at this point about what exactly these energy drinks do to you. There are again, I don't want to no name a particular brand here, but very openly we see cricketers, we see sportsmen constantly using, and then there is this aspirational value that comes to these energy drinks because of that. I think, uh, as you rightly said, I think first of the uh, let us stop looking at these sportsmen, even the film stars, as a uh, role models. Finally, uh, uh, the movie star they do uh, only thing for the money, and even the I think the, uh, some of the sportsmen are promoting. Not all, it, not, sir. Right? I don't want to say they're all like that. Yeah. But, but, but I clearly remember a lot of players during the tennis match. They use they eat banana, so that can be one of the good signs, good good message to the people. Hmm. And I was just looking at a pack of this uh, one of the brand of uh, energy pick uh, drink. One of the strange thing I found it clearly said is being appreciated by athletes and and the 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 university students, which is very very wrong just to promote the people. Secondly, this hmm. pack says that is specially a prized pack. If you buy uh, four or five pack, that is a special price. Hmm. So they are promoting that that they can buy two or three or four rather than one pack. Hmm. And strangely, the whole bottle, the whole can doesn't have even a single health hazard mentioned anywhere. And that it's not specified anywhere that it should be used above the particular age group. Hmm. So these are four things which I could come up. I think the legislation has to be very very strict, and that has to be implemented. Age has to be mentioned. Hmm. These things have to be removed, which promote it. So uh, multi pack should not be sold, hmm. and health hazard should be clearly printed. It should be clearly mentioned. Let me come to you, Manisha. You gave us some quick tips when it comes to banana, cinnamon, and tea. What else can people who are training, and especially kids who are up till late, can do? Uh, when they're preparing uh, for a big examination or a big game coming up, do you have some alternatives that they can replace their energy drinks with? Uh, see, first of all, the kids are. I would just. Uh, this is off the topic, but they are just under a lot of peer pressure nowadays because mm. there is too like there is so much in the uh, news and there is so much in the media that they should have these energy drinks. Mm. So. just as parents it is our moral duty to not keep these things at home if you are having these things how can you tell your children not to have it but you can't stop them from saying, buying we talk about teenagers over here what they buy once they're not at home is in nobody's see, control there is, there is, you have to set some rules down yeah you so know, what can you replace it with see today you somebody is going for their practice match instead of carrying that one bottle of an energy drink or picking it up from a store somewhere what do you would you they rather have, have them carry of, they can have one shot of espresso coffee they can have matcha matcha coffee they can have a green tea shot hmm. see what is energy drinks they are all accumulation of caffeine only hmm. so you cannot have three or Uh, 30 cups of coffee in one time it's impossible right mm. so even if you are having a shot uh, you know a shot of an espresso just yeah. have one shot of espresso before hitting the gym or before hitting the uh, school or whatever it or is going to give you that energy yes okay. it is going to give you that energy All right. Uh, thank you all so much for joining us on this very fascinating discussion. We should actually do a program on sugar as well, on what excess use of sugar is actually doing to people, and that's something that will be fascinating to keep a tap on as well. But that's it. That's all the time we have on the program today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.